Are you familiar with gaslighting? It's a commonly used term to describe manipulative behavior that can have serious impacts on someone's mental and emotional well-being. Let's explore five distinctive signs that what may seem like a typical disagreement could, in fact, be a case of gaslighting. Point four in this video is truly surprising, so eliminate all distractions and listen carefully to what we have to tell you. But before we begin, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell for all updates so you don't miss other videos like these. Number one, they lead you to question your own thoughts and sanity. Disagreements, in essence, can be constructive, offering opportunities for growth and a broader perspective. A gaslighter, however, turns these moments into detrimental experiences, leaving you with persistent self-doubt even after the conversation ends. Take a moment to assess your feelings post-interaction. Do you find clarity or does uncertainty linger? Gaslighters skillfully manipulate your self-perception through hurtful remarks about your intelligence, memory, or competence. This manipulation aims to convince you that their perspective is more accurate. Safeguard yourself by disengaging or refusing to let their words shake your strong sense of self. Number two, they dismiss your emotions. While disagreements can naturally evoke emotional responses, it becomes concerning when someone responds with comments like, you're too sensitive, or you're weak, upon expressing your needs. These remarks could be indicative of gaslighting. Gaslighters, focused on shaping reality to suit their agenda, disregard your emotions and viewpoints. Their aim is to shift blame onto you, absolving themselves of accountability for their actions or imperfections. When confronted by a gaslighter diminishing your feelings, remind yourself that your emotions are valid. Recognize that acknowledging and expressing your emotional needs showcases a high level of emotional intelligence. Stay true to your feelings. Has anyone in your life exhibited gaslighting behavior? How did you recognize it? And what steps did you take to protect your mental health? Please share your experience in the comments below. Your strategies might help others dealing with similar situations. Number three, they aim to belittle you. Engaging in a disagreement with the aim of better understanding or seeking clarity can strengthen a relationship. Conversely, a gaslighter's distinctive objective is to make you feel insignificant, unappreciated, and isolated. Their words and phrases are strategically wielded to keep you in a mentally vulnerable state, causing gradual harm to your mental and emotional well-being. Taking control in a conversation with a gaslighter begins with grasping their perspective. Understanding their goals and intentions empowers you to redirect the discussion and safeguard your well-being swiftly. Number four, they avoid accountability for their words and actions. Post disagreement, it's typical for all parties involved to offer apologies and take responsibility. Gaslighters, however, deviate from this norm. Instead of acknowledging the ways they've harmed you or admitting to their faults, they are inclined to fabricate statements like, I never said that, or your memory is unreliable. I never did that. While challenging, it's crucial not to let their lies distort your sense of reality. If possible, challenge their falsehoods confidently. If that's not feasible, prioritize preserving your mental well-being. Choosing to move forward, even without the apologies or fairness you deserve, becomes paramount. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Number five. You experience anxiety when engaging with them. In strained relationships, it's natural for interactions to evoke tension. However, if you find yourself tiptoeing around a particular person, it could be a result of their deliberate efforts to instill negativity about yourself during conversations. These manipulative tendencies may lead you to minimize your interactions with them. This can be challenging, especially if the person holds significant roles in your life, such as a partner, close friend, family member, or a colleague. Reflect on how your gaslighter has negatively impacted you in the past and consider alternative responses. 
It's essential to recognize that not all discomfort stems from gaslighting. Other factors may contribute to these uneasy feelings. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.